Okay, so I recently had a comment on YouTube. Somebody came in and said, you know, does anyone care about 922R? And I hear this all the time. I see it on the forums. I see it in YouTube videos. People call me, does anyone care? Of course people care. It's kind of a ridiculous question. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't care. And those are the people that are asking, does anyone care? These are people that don't care about 922R. And that's fine if they don't care about 922R. And personally, I don't care if you care about 922R or you don't care about 922R. I don't care if you adhere to 922R. I don't care if you don't adhere to 922R. That's none of my business, that's your business. But people like to ask, for whatever reason, people seem invested in convincing people not to follow 922R, which is kind of crazy. Just let people do what they want to do. But people do care about 922R. I've been answering the phone for 16 years at Freedom Fighter Tactical. I've been answering emails. I've been answering texts. You know, I hear from people about what their concerns are. And when they hear that there's a potential 922R issue, they care about 922R. Would it be fair to sell them parts that put them in violation of a federal law that would be a potential felony and not give them and allow them to have it make an educated decision as to whether they're complying with 922 or not? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable selling parts if I didn't inform people that it's a potential violation and here's how you can build your weapon accordingly so that you're operating within the guidelines of the law. Does that mean I agree with the law? No, I think, you know, the gun laws are ridiculous. But, you know, I know if I'm buying a gun, I wanna know if I'm adhering to the laws or not. I don't want somebody to sell me something and then I build it a certain way and later on I, I find I'm in trouble or I've had something in my safe that's not legal. I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to have that happen. So, you know, occasionally people say, well, you just talk about 922R in order to sell gun parts. No, I, I mean, d by talking about 922R, does that mean I sell more gun parts? Certainly, but that's not why I talk about 922R. I talk about 922R so people can make an educated decision. So they can decide for themselves if they wanna buy or not. I don't care if they buy or not, that's up to them. But normally companies who are in business to make money advise people of a potential problem that they might have. Um, maybe your air conditioning isn't running right. And somebody has a commercial on TV who does air conditioning repair and they come on TV and say, hey, is this what's happening with your air conditioning? We're the guys that can fix it. You know, they, they, they tell you about a problem that exists or they say, you know, your air conditioning can run more efficiently if you add this. So I do the same thing. I let people know that there's a potential legal problem and that's it. I don't, I don't think there's a lot of teeth to this law. I think that if you're in trouble with this law, it's because you're in trouble already and they're looking at your inventory of firearms and they're deciding, okay, what else is wrong in this cabinet? But I don't think you're gonna be at the gun range and somebody's gonna inspect your gun. I don't think you're gonna, you know, I don't think anything like that. I don't think there's 922 our helicopters flying all over the place looking to get people, but it is indeed a concern and most of us gun owners don't want to have potential problems in our home in our car, in our gun safe. We value our rights. So when I'm asked, should you care, do, are, there, are there really people, people are like, are there really people that care about that? Yeah, of course there's people that care about that. Um, I get questions all the time about it. And I get people who don't even know who I am that see 922R talked about other places and they see the phone number on the website and they call me and ask me about it. I've got a whole page on the website that teaches that I've been talking about it for 15, 16 years now. And, um, you know, I, I've never understood the interest in people to question why 922R is discussed. Um, when California passed the magazine restrictions on um, AR rifles, the, somebody invented the bullet button, okay? Do we like the gun laws that California put out? No. Uh, did the guy that put out the bullet button profit from telling people, hey, I've got a way to fix it so you can use this magazine? Yeah. Did anybody begrudge him of that? Or, oh, he's just, he's only talking about it because it means he sells more parts. No, he's solving a problem. That's what we do in any facet of our life, whether it's fixing air conditioners, fixing sinks, fixing cars, fixing guns, whatever it is you're doing, somebody out there has a solution so that you can do it properly. And uh, the proper way to build this gun is to build it compliant with 922R. We, we don't have to like the law. We don't have to agree with the law. We can even be, you know, have a grudge that we have to do this. But 
it just makes sense as responsible gun owners to follow the letter of the law um, because, I mean, they, you know, the anti-gunners like to say that we don't follow the law or, you know, people aren't following the law. Well, we do follow the law. Um, and uh, I think most gun owners inter are interested in following the law and making sure that they do it properly. And I help educate them on how they can do it. It's just a service. Um, but anyway, I thought that was interesting that, you know, there's still people after all this time that come around and, and balk at the idea that somebody would comply with 922R. I, I imagine it's so that they can feel more comfortable about disregarding it themselves. And the more people they can get on that bus, the more the, the better they feel about it. Or they just don't have enough time on their hands. They, they, they have too much time on their hands to worry about what other people are doing. I don't know, it seems kind of silly.